Welcome back. I hope everyone enjoyed the April Fool's video I made. But just to show you I'm a nice guy, we're actually going to do the run for real this time. So, enjoy. Now in this mission, the recording devices are all in the same location each and every time. So let's quickly run and grab those, and we'll be off to Tokyo. Now that we have those, we're off to Tokyo. Now I am assuming that you've already been to Tokyo, so we're going to actually be entering from the Agartha entrance. Now I have sped up this video a fair bit, and it's mainly to eliminate load screens and downtime running from mission to mission. But everything else will be in regular time. Now here we're going to turn left and head down the street, the far east street, to get to the first mission. The first mission here is optional. You don't necessarily have to do it, but it will net you four sequins and a tank canister upon completion. And I don't find it that particularly hard, but if you do, feel free to skip this one. For time constraints today, I am not going to actually be doing this mission, so let's just move on to the next one. Here we'll be picking up two side missions. Each one will net you a canister and one sequin. Now all canisters in the issue 10 zone do have the possibility of dropping shipping container keys, but that's something for a later date. I think most of you have done these missions before, at least once, but if you do need any help, feel free to leave a comment below and I can go into greater depth in a future video. Let's grab these three medical kits and get out of here. Everyone has their own rotation. Mine is no better than anybody else's, so just grab these kits the way you most feel comfortable with.
Now that we have those, we're going to head to the tea house. Now I know I can just anima jump to the tea house, but for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to run it. I'm also going to be taking you by a few rare monsters that you can possibly pick up, which you will miss if you just anima jump. Now we have entered into a cybernetic zone, so make sure you change over your Aegis. And be careful, because beasts like that one that we just passed have a chaotic pull and they can pull you right off the ledge. It appears that the rare boss isn't here. He's normally a large rock golem. All rare bosses have two Aegis shields, so always be cognizant of that. And we've made it. Now here, I do like to pick up some of these missions. Yes, they won't get you any containers, but they will get you some sequins. And that's really what we're here to get. So let's grab that last mission and head over to the bathhouse and pick up two more. Now that we're here, we're going to pick up two more missions. The one to kill Fun, that one, and then the other one for the Robot Ninja, which we will be going back to later. So let's go deal with Fun first and move on. Fun will actually be the hardest part. If you want to, you don't actually have to pick that one up. I just figure it's a little side mission that you're already going to be here with. And you might get lucky like this and find him right off the bat. Now that fun is out of the way, we just need to find five weapon caches, which is relatively easy, and then we can leave this area. Now that we got all of those, we're going to head over to the Manticore section. It's the cybernetic area right behind the tea house, where we are going to find a rare boss and the robot ninja. So let's head over there now.
Now the rare boss around here is a smiley mech. Uh, one of those cone shaped spider looking things. He'll activate upon killing so many of the other cybernetic creatures around here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's here. But creatures such as this will provide information back to him to activate after so many kills. After so many kills, the smiley mech will start generating the little Orochi drones around him. That's when you know he's getting close to spawning. Now, since he's not here, let's go over to the robot ninja and take him out. With him out of the way, we're now going to head back into issue 10 territory over by the docks and hopefully find another rare boss. If you find the game isn't responding like it usually does, try to reset your UI. Tokyo has a memory leak and resetting your UI should hopefully fix the problem. This zone is populated by demonic fungus creatures, which are actually quite potent and powerful, so be careful. It appears that the rare boss is not here. He's a large fungus looking golem. But we do have a side mission over here that we can pick up. This mission will take you into a nightmare area of Tokyo. Everything has two Aegis shields. Always make sure that you bring an Afflict and a Weaken, otherwise these creatures will regenerate their health instantly. Well, if that wasn't a challenge, now let's get off this boat. This area is actually pretty challenging, and I would almost recommend not doing this mission in retrospect after doing it myself. It's rather hard. This will be a good stopping point for part two, and we'll pick it up in part three. So stay tuned.